All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am currently in northern New Jersey, and uh, I'm hiking around here with Matt. He's off hiking somewhere over that way. But uh, right now we're hoping to turn up a copperhead. I'm pretty confident that we can get one. Um, he's never seen one before. So we're going to check that out, and then we're going to head towards Pennsylvania, see if we can find some milk snakes and things like that. Uh, but whatever we find is, you know, fair game. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so uh, we came to this rock bald, and there's a nice slab right here. And under the slab, I don't know if we're going to be able to see him good on camera. There's a copperhead right there by the corner. And then back there in those brambles, there's one really disguised. And there might be more. We just can't see him at the moment. So um, I'll see what I can show you guys. There we go. There's a view of this guy way back in the crack. Probably female using this like a gestating rock. your face there and some of her body. She's pretty far back there though and it's real hard to get different angles with the camera uh, given the circumstances. Pretty neat though and we'll see if we can get a good look at the other one. The next in situ is pretty impressive for a spot. This one's gonna be hard to get focused on though but there we go. There's some scales coming through. Let's see if I can get a better angle on this guy. Oh, it's moving. Here's a better look at this snake. All right, apologies for such lackluster footage of those copperheads, um, but we did just find another snake, and it happens to be a little northern ringneck. Up north here, they're pretty common, so we're expecting to see quite a few more of these by the end of our journey, but uh, always a delight going to let him go back under his rock. All right, so me and Matt just switched spots. Um, it's a little bit later in the day because it took us a little while to get here. Um, and that first start of the video that we, uh, that we filmed was already pretty late in the day. Um, but this is a, a spot I scoped down the winter and there were a lot of good flat rocks I think could be pretty good for milks. Um, and there might even be hog noses here. Could even be timbers, supposedly. Um, so we'll check it out for a little bit and then we're going to head to some of my uh, more well-known spots around here. Alright, so uh, the last spot we went to got bulldozed actually. So a lot of the rocks there that I was excited to flip that I scoped down the winter were not there. So I'm going to strap up with a uh, head mount and you guys can see this, this spot. You'll probably recognize it. I come here quite a bit um, and hopefully we'll get a milk snake. So let's see what's under these things. At least I hope. The rocks feel pretty warm. Oof. This is usually the good one. Oh, water snake, right there, water snake. oh, water snake. Yeah, look at that. It's not a good sign for flipping. If water snakes are on the bottom. Yeah, if snakes are just out on the crawl. Ugh. Yeah, it looks like not a whole lot under cover right now. This one's usually... Yeah, these must have been heating up for the last couple hours. Oh, there's a little water snake. Whoa! So charged up. Ow! Kind of a pretty belly on this thing. It's got a, 
a meal in it. Look at that. Yeah, belly. It's got a meal, so I'm gonna put it back down. And let it go. It's probably gonna <laughs> drop off the edge. They tend to do that here. I think that's about it for this spot right now. It's crazy. We just hiked to the top of a mountain after flipping those rocks, where we're gonna flip more rocks, looking for stuff. But like, we are so far from any water, and I know that there were spotted turtles nearby, but on the top of a mountain, there's a spotted turtle. Just meandering along right here. Looks like a big female. And I'm wondering, oh, it's gorgeous, dude. This one has a lot of spots. I'm wondering if this is a nest that just dug right here. Let's gently pick her up. Dude, look what on earth, dude. This is crazy. That's a beautiful spotted as well. Look at that. Look how many spots. Oh, there's the head. That is a gorgeous turtle. So nice. I might take some pictures of this turtle. This is beautiful. Wow. I wonder if it's laying eggs up here. That would just be absolutely unreal. I, I can't get over how many spots are on its back though. That's gorgeous. I never see them with this many spots per scute. That's so beautiful. Wow. This is easily just the most stunning spotting turtle, or spotted turtle I've ever seen in my life. Like, look at that spot count. It's just so high. Oh my God. It's just so nice. A beautiful, big, big female too. This is huge for a spotted turtle. Like, look at this in, in my hand. It's massive. Stunning, absolutely stunning turtle, dude. I'm gonna let it on its way in a second here, after a few more pictures. Leaving this turtle where we found it, these guys are a highly, highly poached species of turtle, unfortunately. Um, they go for quite the pretty penny over in um, places like Asia, I guess. Um, so they are subject to a lot of illegal collection. It's a species of special concern in Pennsylvania, and it's a species that's declining across a lot of its range. So, I mean, look, this is a beautiful turtle, and obviously I understand the temptation of a lot of people to, um, to keep something like this as a pet when they find it, but the best thing to do is just let these things uh, go on their way. And that's exactly what we're gonna do, and we're gonna keep hiking, and. I'm hoping that we uh, can flip some snakes. Isn't that right, Matthew? Yeah, that's the target. All right, Matt just flipped this hefty rock that he's standing on. We got our second ringneck of the day. This guy's wriggling all over the place, but check out that belly. Pretty stunning. I love how ringnecks are like blue and yellow, almost. Really pretty snakes, underrated because of how common they are, but we'll let this guy go right back under his rock. And there he goes, sweet. A lot of this stuff is really overgrown, but uh, oh, I see you, boy. yeah, gonna do the honors. No, you got it. This one's real old, lots of tunnels, that's really cool. Uh -huh. uh, here's a real old board. Sometimes it's good for a red belly or something though. This one we got an insane milk under last year. And I think I could get a timber. So we want to be careful, but ready? Yeah. Not a... Nothing. You're really no. helping out local ant population. The local lamp population? Ant population. Oh. I wish lamp. This could legit have a timber, so I'd be careful. But should we go for it? Need help? Let's see. Turns out not be all that heavy this time. Uh, let's see. 
It's a big shed right yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. I flipped a big green under this one time. Yeah, ants have been mobbing lately. People, but hmm. could very well still have milk or something cool inside it. Did you open it up all the way? Oh, oh my god, racer! Yeah, I was gonna say, what? Never opened it up all the way, dude. They're rare up here. Oh, and eggs, it laid eggs in here. Did we crush them? Whoa. Racers are real rare up here, dude. Oh, it's in the midst of laying eggs. See right there? We gotta put this down. Whoa, that's super cool. Incredibly inconvenient. All right, so another rarity. R racers were up uh, at really high elevation, so racers are really rare up here. I knew that they were here. Um, and we caught this one in the act of laying eggs accidentally when we were going through this carpet, which I got on the GoPro a little bit. You'll see the racers coiled right there, and here's some of its eggs. Um, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back nicely, and and just try to um, make sure that everything is back how it should be, to the best of our ability, um, and put it back down. Very very neat though. Like look at that. There's some of the eggs. There's the racer. Wow, super cool. It was in the act of laying eggs, so really unfortunate that we uh, disturbed it, but hopefully it doesn't have too much of an effect on it. All right, so that was pretty freaking neat. Um, racer inside the carpet laying eggs. Pretty crazy. Um, I feel bad. I mean, it wasn't intentional to, that I even picked it up at all if I had known when I did that that it was laying eggs. Um, I got some cool pictures at least, and we... We tried to reconstruct the nest as best as possible. Um, really, really neat find. Uh, it's cool, but um, a shame that we we disrupted it in the midst of nesting. But uh, I guess it is what it is. We're going to keep looking now. Uh, there's some more carpet, and we're going to go through it pretty gently, and uh, maybe we'll see something else cool. That's just so cool to me, dude. We've been having such a, like a cool night. Like, mm -hmm. it's not at all what we came up here for, but like, how can you complain about a spotted turtle that looked like that and a racer laying eggs? I've found racer eggs before, but I've never found one in the process of laying eggs like that. We're just walking back and our spotted turtle friend has dug itself a little bit of a hole on some shale though that's pretty that's that's weird at least I think um, but look at that I'm gonna snap a quick picture or so of this just because it's so neat and then we're just gonna keep hiking and leave her alone it's a batter bird, bird. huh all right, as you can tell, it's starting to get dark here. Um, we couldn't help ourselves, and we went back to that spotted turtle and uh, hung out by it for a little bit while it was digging that nest just to see if that was the real one or a test hole. And we marked around it with some uh, different colored pebbles and took a picture, some coordinates just to uh, to send to a naturalist that works on the property that we're on right now. 
and he might make a nest box or something like that um, to protect it from predation. So uh, anyway, we're going to head down the mountain. It's going to be a bit of a long walk in the dark, so I'll see you in a sec. All right, just made it back home. Uh, it got dark up on the mountain. We walked in the dark for a little while. Um, this is gonna be a little bit shorter of a video, I think, but um, we're going out for a long time tomorrow looking for hog noses and timbers, so that'll be the next video you see. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys like that one, and we'll catch you on the next one.